Hi amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel This is my 11th video tutorial in Python projects playlist In this video tutorial we'll see how to capture a screenshot using Python We'll use Python GUI using TK Enter Before moving forward have you subscribed to my channel yet subscribe it so you never miss an update Screenshot also known as screen capture is a digital image that shows the content of a computer display a common screenshot is created by a operating system or software running on the device taking saving and sharing screenshots can be extremely helpful now let's look at today's agenda we'll see a basic introduction of py auto gui and we'll see how to capture a screenshot using python so Let's get started. What is PyAuto GUI? PyAuto GUI lets your Python script control the mouse and keyboard to automate interactions with other applications. Now let's look at some of its features. It allows you to move the mouse and click or type in windows or other applications. Send keystrokes to applications, take screenshots, and given an image, for example, a button or a checkbox, you can find it on the screen. Locate an application's window, move, resize, maximize, minimize, or close it. Display message boxes for user interaction while your GUI automation script runs. If you wish to know more about it, you can refer to the Py Auto GUI documentation. I'll attach the link in the description box below. Now that you are aware about Py Auto GUI basics, we can move forward to the coding section. It's time to code. Make sure you follow along with me. You can find all the code at my GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide. So open your command terminal. And let's install the py auto gui package. We'll use pip install command to do this. Since I've already got this installed on my system, it says as requirement already satisfied. Now that we have the package, we are ready to import it in our Python script. So I am inside my VS Code editor and let's start by creating a new Python file. I am naming it as main. Now let's import the packages. Now let's import TK enter. as tk now it's time to create a canvas root equals to tk dot tk now let's give it a title i am using the title method for this let's give the title as screenshot take now let's specify the canvas dimensions You can specify dimensions of your choice. I am setting the height and width as 300 here. Now let's pack our canvas. Now that we have our canvas ready, let's define a function to capture the screenshot. I am naming it as my screenshot. We need to create an object to store our screenshot. I am naming it as SC, short for screenshot. We are calling the screenshot method from PyAuto GUI on SC. Let's save our screenshot using the save method. Give proper path along with the screenshot name. So let me copy my exact path here. Okay. 
I am naming it as screenshot1.png. Remember to provide the correct file extension. Now let's create a button. I am naming it as my button. Now let's specify a few parameters. We'll give the text as take screenshot. I'll pass in my screenshot method in command. Now let's specify the background color as green and foreground color as white here. Let's give the font size as 15. Now that we have our button ready, let's put it in center. I am using the create window method here. Let's give 150, 150 here. At last, let's call our main loop at the end. That's it. A Python script is ready. Let's save and run it. A new window will appear. It's exactly as we specified. The height and width as 300. The button background color as green and foreground as white. And the heading as screenshot taker. Now let's capture a screenshot. As soon as I press the take screenshot button, a new PNG file is created inside my Python tutorial folder. And here is our screenshot. A new screenshot is created at the specified path. That's simple, isn't it? Let's try capturing another screenshot. Let's give it the name as screenshot2. Let me save the file. I am minimizing it. I am opening one notepad here. And now let's run our program again. Now I'm capturing the screenshot. A new screenshot to PNG file will appear in the same folder. And now let's open and see. Here is our screenshot. That's it. We are done. You can find all the code at my GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find useful. Check out my blog for a step-by-step -step guide of the same. Join my Telegram channel and Discord server for regular updates. I'll attach the link in the description box below. Connect with me on other social platforms. I have compiled all the Python resources in a single GitHub repository. You can refer to it for Python resources like books, newsletters, podcasts, etc. I'll attach the link in the description box below. I would recommend you to watch my other YouTube video tutorials like build your own Google Chrome extension, web scraping coronavirus data into MS Excel, creating audiobook from any PDF file, generating QR code, etc. If you have any queries or suggestions feel free to reach out to me if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe my channel press the bell icon so you never miss an update i will be back with more such videos thank you for watching have a great day